Okay, guys, we're gonna pick off where we left off, pick up where we left off yesterday, uh, talking about how to calculate A. Such an important skill, and definitely one that shows me that you know what you're talking about when it comes to quadratics. So let's just quickly revisit what I did yesterday with the class, and which most people seem to understand that um, this parabola right here is not the parent function of y equals x squared because this right here would be 1 over and 1 up and then 2 over and 2 or no 2 over I'm sorry and 4 up because 2 squared is 4 so that's not what is going on here uh, so we went through yesterday and we determined <clears throat> that what was going on, I'll choose a different color, <clears throat> was one over and two up. And then I start looking at two and it didn't really connect. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it does two over and then eight up. So this was our pattern. And we started thinking about X squared. So for example, one squared is one and then something need to happen to that become two. And then two squared is four and something had to happen to four to become eight. <clears throat> so we finally figured out that it, um, it was two x squared, actually. And then that's why we put the two here. And then three negative one was the vertex. So we finally completed the, uh, the equation. Someone, I can't remember exactly who it was, asked a really good question at the end of the period. They said, uh, Mr. Thacker, when I plug in these x values into this equation, it doesn't work out properly. That showed me that this person actually really knows what they're talking about. And they're using a good thought process, even though, uh, you know, what they said, well, it was true, it, it doesn't work. So if you take x and put it here, 1 minus 3 is 2, and 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 minus 1 is 7, not 2. And the same thing if we plug in 2. If we plug in 2, we don't get 8. But first, I was like, that's, that's a big problem. But if you look at these points, 1, 2, the point 1, 2 is right here, right? It's not on the parabola. This work right here was just helping us calculate A. And 2, 8 is way up here. It's not on the parabola either. So if you do want to test a point, if that's the position that you're getting into, you would want to pick one that is actually on the parabola, like, what is that, 4, 1? So if we plug 4, 1 into the equation, it has to work. So let's plug in 4 right here. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Those are the kind of points that you want to start plugging in. Okay, as you're cruising through today, um, you have to write different representations from what is presented to you. So this could be um, an equation here. You could do an equation or a graph. This one, I want equation. And um, I'm really curious to see if you guys can calculate A here, because it is not, this one's upside down, so one over and one, and then two should be four, but it's not. We can see that it's wider than the parent function, which means that A is, well, I'll let you guys figure that out. But come up with uh, the equation in vertex form of that. And then down here, graph each equation without using technology. Uh, I think I might have told a couple of you yesterday, since it was at the end of the period, to just use technology. But I actually do want you to do that today, because it is a skill that's on the test. And uh, you might think that you totally got it down, but it is something that is worth practicing. And it's only three problems. I'm sure that you'll be just fine. Go ahead, cruise through these. The ready, set, go today um, is... This first part is really easy. And then what well, the part that I like the best was, let's see, where is it? Um, oh yeah, it's taking these problems and writing it into standard form. So you'll have to do some foiling and some different things to be able to figure that out. Most of all, just remember that uh, for problems like 11, this is not x squared minus three squared. Just remember that this is uh, a FOIL problem. It's x minus 3, x minus 3. 
So figure that out, state A, B, and C. If you do get done with 2-2 today, uh, I will let you start 2-3, but I definitely want 2-2 task and RSG uh, completed today, and if they're not,